In this example, I will show you how I use Spectra Layers 10 for de-bleeding tom microphones. I have a recording, a drum recording, with close micings and overheads and some room mics. Let's have a listen. So, it sounds pretty okay to me. I will solo the tom microphones. And there you have a pretty loud cymbal hit. And this is a common problem. And before Spectral Layers, we were using gates, we were using automation, we were cutting the audio into little pieces to get rid of the cymbal bleed in the tom microphones. But since Spectral Layers 10, getting rid of the bleed is just a few clicks away. I applied Spectral Layers to my three tom microphones and I will use the unmix function. And we have a special algorithm for drums. I will choose this time the drum algorithm. And I will apply this to all the three tom tracks. This just takes a few seconds. And Spectral Layers is doing the work for me. And now we have the third tom track. And as you can see now, Spectral Layers split up the tracks into kick, snare, and cymbals, which is the, let's say, the usual algorithm to work with drums in Spectral Layers 10. Uh, we can just simply mute the cymbal layer to get rid of the tom bleed, but we still have the attack and the presence of the actual drum sound. So let's have a listen again. So if you ask me, the symbol is gone and it sounds much better than having a gate or any kind of automation on the drum tracks. So de-bleeding toms with spectral layers, it's just a few clicks away. It's great.